This is the Enreal Air, and it's a product that I've been wanting to take a look at on the channel for quite some time. So when they hit me up wanting to sponsor video, I couldn't say no. If you haven't heard of the Enreal Air, these are essentially AR glasses. They work with a plethora of devices, including phones, consoles like the Steam Deck, Xbox and PlayStation, even your Switch, and essentially give you a gigantic screen in front of your eyes. Wow, this is a neat looking case. Open this up, and we get the glasses themselves. Hey, does that case fit in your pocket? I mean, like, I wouldn't do it, but uh, they're portable enough. They'll easily fit in a backpack. Oh, there's also some stuff underneath the floor. So we have some accessories. So I guess, yes, we have our USB-C to C cable with one end that's, I think that's at a 45 degree angle. So this will presumably be the side that you connect to the glasses themselves. We have a bunch of different nose pads, presumably to accommodate different types of bridges. Also, I was reading up that they have both a shade, so if you wanted to not use the AR functions and just use it almost like a VR headset, you can do that. But most importantly for me, because I am nearsighted and practically blind, we have a prescription eye attachment. Essentially, this allows you to use custom prescription lenses with your Enreal Air so that you can ditch your glasses for a more natural feeling setup. You do need to have them made just like you would any pair of glasses. Sadly, I didn't have time to do it for this video. However, props to Enreal for even considering this in their design. All right, looks like there's a QR code to set this up, so I'm gonna download the app, get these adjusted so they are properly fit for me, and try them out for a bit and give you guys some more thoughts. Okay, it's been a few days since I've unboxed the Enreal Air, and I gotta say, I know this is a sponsored video, but for real, these glasses are absolutely charming. But for $379, what exactly are you getting? Put simply, you can plug the Air into most USB-C devices that'll do video out to get yourself essentially what is a 130-inch display wherever you are, to play games, watch movies, or browse the web. This is thanks to a pair of Sony Micro OLED panels and high-quality optics that beam a colorful and bright picture right in front of your eyes that essentially floats in the middle of your vision. The result is that the picture looks way better than what I was expecting. There's no screen door effects, and the distortion is kept to a minimum, even with me using them on top of my actual glasses. Plus, because you can still see the environment around you, you don't feel boxed into your content, if that makes sense. These glasses don't feel as claustrophobic as traditional VR headsets, which plays better and feels more natural for casual use. Now, the first thing I did with the Enreal Air was plug them into my Galaxy Z Fold 4. Just like many other Android phones, it mirrors its display by default, which baseline is fine as a quick and easy way to enjoy some content. Enreal does encourage you to use their Nebula app, which is actually the best way to get a proper mixed reality experience out of them. That's with basic head tracking and using your phone as a controller to interact with their virtual interface. It gives a glimpse of what the Air is capable of as a proper AR device. And while it also maximizes your virtual screen size to 201 inches, honestly, I think it's bare bones at the moment. Where I was really starting to fall in love with this product was with how good they are as a fixed point USB-C display. Now, fair warning, I'm gonna be as descriptive with my words as possible because AR glasses turns out are pretty hard to film. We're gonna show some B-roll of the stuff I'm talking about, but it's only through one of the lenses, which is hardly a substitute for trying them out in person. So you're just gonna have to take our word for it. Using the Enreal Air with my Galaxy Z Fold 4 was nothing short of pleasant, all thanks to Samsung DeX, which gives you a desktop interface on top of Android when plugged into an external display. This can be quite useful for multitasking that's too intricate for a phone screen, especially considering that it offers better window management. Even better that the newest version of DeX allows your phone screen to be used as a trackpad and keyboard, completely eliminating the need to carry around peripherals. Using the Fold 4's cover display as a one-handed remote alongside the Enreal Air has no right being this intuitive, but it works so well as a mini computer setup that's arguably easier to carry around than a laptop or tablet. But where I think the Air truly shines is while gaming. 
Now, I've already done a video on some cool accessories that enhance the experience on the Steam Deck. But if I could go back and add one more item to that list, it would be the air. Just like with the Z Fold, you can plug these glasses into the Steam Deck and have it all work right on the spot. Actually spent some time playing Cyberpunk 2077 now that it's deck verified, and the benefits of the air became pretty apparent. Rather than bending your neck down to look at the deck's seven inch screen, having the display fixed directly in your field of view lets you reposition yourself in any way that's comfortable. Trust me, if you're committing hours and hours of gameplay on a AAA title like Cyberpunk, you'll wanna get cozy. A game like this also also makes the most out of the high quality micro OLEDs on the Enreal Air. Night City might look punchy with lots of bright colors and shadows, but you can easily make out all of the detail amid the contrast. Also, there's genuinely something about the novelty of seeing all of the stylized, techy HUD elements in game while playing on your AR glasses that make you feel like you're somewhat in the future. Jar what's Jarvis? What? 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 Oh, that Jarvis. That man's butler. People are gonna be like, but you're Ned. <laughs> Ned Flanders? <laughs> okay, not that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Looking beyond the Steam Deck, the Enreal Air can also work as a display for any of your other game consoles or miscellaneous devices that output over HDMI when combined with their $59 adapter. It might seem overkill for something as simple as a USB-C to HDMI converter, but trust me, it's necessary because again, the Enreal Air does not have a built-in battery. And remember, HDMI doesn't carry power. To get around this, the Enreal adapter has a 2800 milliamp hour battery, offering about three hours of screen on time. In my own personal opinion, this is less than ideal, especially considering that you can't charge the adapter while using it with the air. However, for what it's worth, the physical design of the adapter is clever in another way. Take this female to female HDMI adapter out and you can actually slide in Apple's first party HDMI to lightning dongle so that you can mirror an iPhone screen on the Air as well. It almost looks like an official Apple product. The Enreal Air might be a quirky product, but it's a great checkpoint in the race toward mainstream mixed reality. Its simplicity does leave some things on the table, but it also makes it surprisingly approachable, easy to use, and can even enhance the experience across your devices. If you'd like to know more about the Enreal Air, and pick one up for yourself, check out the link in the video description. And huge thanks to Enreal for sponsoring this video and also supporting what we do here on Denki Channel.